Good evening and thank you so much for joining us for another edition of All Angles. I'm Dion Jackson Millo. As always, welcome to our viewers on onespotmedia.com. Remember, you can tweet along with us. Our hashtag is TVJ All Angles. Now, on December 4, a report that the Auditor General had done into operations at the National Refinery Petrojam was tabled in Parliament. For this special edition of All Angles, we take a look back at some of the issues and concerns that had been raised before the publication of the report report and some of the initial responses that the public received. On May 22, opposition spokesman on science and technology, Julian Robinson, first raised the Petrojam issue when he delivered his sectoral presentation in Parliament. Mr. Speaker, there is widespread nepotism where persons who lack the appropriate experience and expertise are being put in critical positions within that entity. There is victimization of staff, of persons who are standing up for principle and who are either being fired or sidelined. There are major project overruns that are taking place at Petrogen. And Mr. Speaker, what is happening at this state-owned agency is what I would call the wild, wild west. The wild, wild west at this state agency. Mr. Speaker, it requires the intervention of the Auditor General to go in with immediate effect to examine what is taking place at this entity. Mr. Speaker, we have a situation, for example, where in this entity donations were made last year of 30 million to a number of entities, just donations, to constituencies of politically connected persons where there is no proof that the donation that would have been made, for example, to a school to undertake a particular project has actually been done. Now, on May 29, the Energy Minister, Dr. Andrew Wheatley, spoke in Parliament on the issue, especially that issue of donations. The donations made through Petrojam under this board are follow the guidelines outlined in the donation policy document. I have no need for any innuendos, Mr. Speaker, when I can call on the facts at my disposal. Remember you spoke to $39 million in donations to fund projects in six demarcated constituencies in 2017. But 19 plus million, almost half of that amount, is in your specific constituency. And I can give you the specific amounts if you would like. No, you already have them. I'm sure you already have them, but he didn't mention them. The figure $39 million um, is incorrect. In fact, it's far more than that that was dispersed. But I will, I will clarify it. Just, just so you, you, Mr. you are Speaker, retracting Mr. your Speaker, own statement to me, sir. May I allow to be finished, Mr. Speaker? Mr. <laughs> Dr. Wheatley, Don't do some fact check. Have it right here. Fact check. Dr. Wheatley, please I did, answer I did some the fact question. Check. Because I wanted to ensure that I, I was able to make question. a presentation. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, in 2017, Homestead Primary and Sidham um, Community Centre benefited. The entities applied without any interference from the minister, if that is what is being implied by the member. The organizations applied, wrote their proposal, the board approved those proposals, the checks were made payable to the institutions, they implemented the projects. Now, then, energy, then General Manager, I beg your pardon, of Petrojam, Floyd Grindley, appeared before the Public Administration and Appropriations Committee of Parliament. That was on June 13. Within the past six months or so, do you have any cases before the Ministry of Labor and the IDT regarding um, staff and termination? Yes, Member. How many? There's uh, one. Only one. IDT? Pardon me? One before the IDT? One, that's the best of my knowledge. One, one member. Any others, any other in the Ministry of Labor outside of the IDT? I, I think there are maybe one other in front of Ministry of Labor. 
one other so that would be two or well, be two yeah and not but, one but one in idt and one with communication ministry of labor it's a ministry of labor idt okay and those are for improper dismissal that's a claim by the employees what, what, what's your question um, if member? there are cases before if they report to the ministry of labor either the ministry of labor industrial relations unit or the idt it is what does the matter relate to is it in claim by the employer, former employer of improper dis dismissal or termination? Mr. Chair. Member. I would not not going into the specifics of, of, of those cases. They, we do not want them being prejudiced by what is said here. And I, and I share my colleague's observation. I have no interest in the specifics now. My question is those cases, two cases that you identified, what is the claim being made, not the specifics of it? What is the claim? They must go there for some reason. They don't just end up there. What is the basis of them being, what's the claim being made while they are referred? Remember what I can share with you this morning. In the termination, due processes were followed. Mr. Brindley, I've been here long enough to hear all kind of mumbo jumbo. I don't want it from you this morning. What is it? Remember, remember Jackson. Tell member, me about due process. Jackson. What was the claim made by the employee while matters are there? I'll get the specifics and share with you. No, you don't know as the general manager. Matters be affecting Petrojam that end up in the Ministry of Labor and you come here and tell Jamaica that you don't know why they are there. Members, I said I'll share the, the specific. You asked for the specific information. I did not ask for the specific. I said what was the basis of them? What was the claim made on Petrojam why they are there? You either know or you don't know. The allegations are unfair dismissal. That is the in front of. So you are the support staff here to just ask. That's why support staff come here. So if you don't know, you ask them rather than tell me you have to leave and, 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 and come back to tell me another time. Don't continue with another. You know, I'm very, very tolerant of those hmm? responses. In the media, there would have been a discussion as it related to your HR officer getting some $12 million per year. I would like to find out what is the range? Are the skill sets of this individual the same as you had it before? Is there any adjustment to the job description? Is the function being, prof being provided or performed by this individual in excess of what you paid before? Is it more or less? All compensation by the company to an employee is in compliance with the approved ban by Ministry of Finance, as approved by Ministry of Finance. So the compensation for the previous HR manager was 9.5 million. However, 9.5 million was paid to the HR manager, but we also had a IR consultant that supported that HR manager, the previous HR manager, that we paid approximately 5.2 million for the year. Uh, the current HR manager is not complemented with a IR consultant because of her skill set and the experience that she is bringing to Petrojam. What is the experience and the training, the qualification that informs the competencies to provide that skill set you made reference to? Before, for example, we didn't have a, a good succession planning for staff members. And as you know, you would accept the fact that as a, as a company is thinking ahead, we have to think about the future. The current HR manager. What is her qualification vis-a-vis -vis the outgoing person that she replaces? The, the skill sets, as you know, for HR is, it starts by rec recruitment. The, the skill set is there to demonstrate that the, the, the current person has a skill set from recruitment all the way to a retention. So as you know, yourself, HR, Mr. Greenlee, I ask you what the qualification no. of the person is. What degree certificate that the person holds 
come into the position? What is her experience before where she served? How many years of service? Number of employees Degrees, in the form of employment that, she, the, that the, allows the, you to the, establish no, that she the, has the skills, skill sets? The, I, I can't get the full list, but the HR manager currently possess the Bachelor in Human Resources. She also have a, a MBA uh, certificate along with many other certifications. I can get the full list and provide to you. Okay, let's go to our first break. When we come back, we'll have more from Parliament and later on more from the PAAC. Remember our hashtag, it's TVJ All Angles. <laughs> 